All right, happy Monday. Uh, today we're going to live solve the New Yorker puzzle. Uh, the Monday New Yorker is the most challenging puzzle of the week, and and it's usually pretty tough. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Could be could be an interesting solve. Uh, I do like the New Yorker puzzles though, because they're always chock full of uncommon, interesting fill. And I think that makes for a, a little bit more interesting live solve experience, stuff that catches me off guard. Uh, yesterday's Monday New York Times solve, the solve of today's puzzle that I, I recorded yesterday. Uh, it was a great puzzle, but um, more compelling as uh, one of these talks. Uh, excellent constructor, uh, very consistent. So let's see what we got. A challenging puzzle by Patrick Berry. I love that that's how they introduce it. It just, you know, there's no BS around it. It's just, this is going to be tough. Let's, let's go. All right. So fighting it out at war, maybe something like that. Um, a Gillette product is an Atra. This is super common, Phil, Atra. Um, I've never actually purchased a Gillette Atra. I don't think that I knew it was a type of razor outside of the context of crossword puzzles, but, um, and I think that that's close enough to confirmation to uh, put in at war here. I think that's safe for now. A comic figure. <clears throat> it's like a superhero, maybe. Uh, could be. They're raised on ships. Sales are raised on ships. So I think superhero might be right here. Heavy planters. It could be urns. I don't uh, I think of urn more as like a big coffee dispenser, but um, organization concerned with lunch programs could be the PTA, web address ending, could be EDU. I, I'm going to say this is superhero. I think that that's, that feels pretty likely. Um, Sudbury Basin exports. I don't know about that. And I'm just going to take that as confirmation that all of those hunches were correct here and see what we get if we plug those all in. It's so one involved in moving pictures. So in art design, art student, I don't know. Um, indicator of potential problems is a red flag. So that's that's good confirmation right there. Good morning, Starshine musical must be hair. Star of Luther. Hmm. I don't really know what Luther is, but hinge upon is rely and becomes threadbare is phrase. So everything looks good here. I think I think we can consider this um, on the right track. One involved in moving pictures is an art dealer. That's good. I like that. Moving pictures, um, selling as you know, moving as a synonym for selling or dealing. And so this must be ores, O-R-E-S, Sudbury Basin Exports. I'm not exactly sure where Sudbury Basin is, um, but ores are a thing that are frequently imported. Uh, dig them up in one place and sell them in another, refine them in another, and then sell them in a third, probably. Caught by no one is inaudible. And so let's just see what that last one was. Oh, whoops. Um, Elba, Star of Luther. So that must be Idris Elba. So I'm not familiar with Luther, but I know Idris Elba for sure. I'm all done. Hmm. Sources of income for Monopoly players is rents. Not just Monopoly players, but uh, lots of people. Colonial housing would be, this is nice. I like this. This is Ant Hills, right? Um, so Ant Colony, Colonial Housing, clever. So far, I'd say this is definitely skewing easy for a Monday New Yorker. Um, it's good. I like the fill here. And there's, I mean, can't remember last time I saw a superhero, art dealer, inaudible, any of that stuff. Um, Ant Hill's phrase. This is all like pretty uncommon fills. So I'm, I'm into it. Um, but it is definitely skewing a little, a little easier. Uh, corrupt practices. Require relief would be AL, A I L, right? Uh, pictures, statistic. Well, normally we would say ERA or wins, um, pictures, statistic. I'm not really sure what that is. They cover years. That's super vague. Let's see if we can get a down clue here. 
Taylor would be like alter, amend, adapt. And, you know, there's could be a few things there. Uh, format of films shown at Ontario's Cinesphere must be IMAX. I mean, there's not that many film formats. Um, what's scratched off a scratch ticket? Hmm, that's a very interesting one. Like, it's not, is it some kind of a wax? Like, um, hmm, not sure. They cover years. They cover years. Filmmaker who co-founded the studio American Zotrope with Coppola. Is that Lucas, maybe? Um, generous cake servings. Could be like a slab of cake, right? Uh, synagogue cabinets. I don't know what that is referring to. Hitcher statistic. Like strike. Yeah. Um, like Jerusalem's Dome of the Rock, shape wise. So, this must be like oct octagonal or hexagonal or some kind of agonal. Um, <clears throat> but it looks like it could be a few different kinds of agonal. Uh, so, we'll hold off on it. And uh, this is likely plural synagogal cabinets. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure enough to plug it in. Um, what scratched off a scratch ticket? That's, I mean, I feel very good about IMAX, so I don't, I don't think that X is wrong, but, um, that should be, I mean, there's not that many things that end in X. So, um, latex could be latex. Snack aisle brand. Sound purchase in the fifties would be a hi-fi. That's a good clue. Um, sound purchase, um, you know, it makes, makes you think of a T bill or some kind of a stock or some stable investment. <clears throat> uh, it rises when you sit. It's interesting. So that's you know, probably like, I mean, I was thinking like a kneecap or a lap or uh, something, but not exactly sure what's going on there. Uh, inevitable. Fated. One mounted on a microscope is a slide. So that, that feels pretty good. Um, let's see if we can get a couple downs here. That would be helpful. A reassurance to someone who's blundered. Like no worries, but i uh, not really sure. Sweet love, R&B singer. Definitely not sure about that one. Restaurants with no waiting, cafeterias. I don't know if I'd call that a restaurant, but I guess fair enough, they serve food. So I won't nitpick it too hard. It rises when you sit. Hmm. Having pitch black, pulchritudinous peepers. Wow, like dark eyed. Pulchritudinous, a very interesting and unusual word, pulchritudinous. Hmm. Obviously coming back to that one. <laughs> Use a tiller on, um, so that'd be like steer or maybe rotate. Use a tiller on, rotate. A dunderhead is maybe an oaf or an ass. Um, I think this might be latex and Lay's, like Lay's potato chips, um, which would make ass the right solve there. National Humanities Medal recipient who has published over 50 novels. See, hmm, that's a tough one. Light desserts. <clears throat> a box seat accompaniment. Like a racer, like a box go-kart kind of deal when shadows are long so like evening um, afternoon late in the day uh, so I was <laughs> earlier I was saying that this was skewing easy um, the top really came together nicely looks like I'm gonna have some trouble uh, here over in the west um, so we'll See what it looks like when we get into the downs completely. 
a Finnish company that sued Apple for patent infringement. Hmm, a Finnish company. I really don't know that one. A DJ's listenership in old timey slang, like Radio La Radio Land. I think it's Radio Land. Um, I kind of like that. That seems tough. I know I just kind of blurted that out with no crosses, but um, that seems like difficult, Phil. Um, but nice. I, I like it. Seven foot one inch athlete who hosts the big podcast. <clears throat> so I don't know the big podcast, but this has to be Shaquille O'Neal. Who's an amazing personality. Awesome. Hilarious guy. Snifflers supply. Mm. Tissues, Kleenexes, Kleenex. Cross component. That could be Kleenexes. That's right. Contemptible sort. Mm. Jerk. I think we're going to try Kleenexes. Because this could be ale, right? A cask ale, UK beverage. And then this could be tax, which is how we calculate costs. Far from flowery. <laughs> so I kind of want this to be prose, but I think that's probably wrong. Um, it'd be like prosic or some modification of that word. Bernard Malamud novel loosely based on baseball, Eddie White, <laughs> White kisses career. Oh boy. Um, I, I have absolutely no idea what that is, but um, I think this is, I think it's probably the something. Oh, this must be the natural, which is, I forgot this was even a book, but um Great baseball, one of the classic baseball movies with Robert Redford, The Natural. Um, I'm all done there, maybe there. Revisited after a hiatus. Went back to. That's right. Um, so I'm going to say this is there. I'm all done there. Um, as you hand it an assignment there. You know? A Hard Road to Glory, a history of the African American athlete author. This is likely Arthur Ashe, which we see his name a lot, um, but it's usually clued. It's, it's usually just his last name as the solve. And uh, it's nice to have his full name. And also this is an interesting clue. It's not about just, you know, the renamed stadium in Queens or something like that. Um, and so there reluctantly abstains from resists, I think. Right? Abuses would be corrupt practices, so that works. And resists. An article in a French newspaper must be lay. Right? Did your statistic is starts? Great. Um, they cover years. Almanacs. All right, so this, this really did come together nicely. Um, George Lucas was my first thought there, and that looks like it's going to be right. Um, still on track for like. Octagonal, maybe. Taylor Alter. Uh, generous cake servings will be slabs, followed by synagogue cabinets will be arcs. Great. It rises when you sit. That's nice. Bath water. Um, true story. <laughs> displacement. Water displacement. Uh, so slabs having pitch black, poker tutens, peepers. So slow eyed, maybe? I don't know. This still doesn't look great to me, but. And got off the dime. I wonder if that's like acted. I think this must be latex, um, which is interesting. I never would have guessed that latex <clears throat> was the thing you were scratching off a scratch ticket, but uh, it makes sense, uh, right? And got off the dime, we'll call that acted, octagonal. National Humanities Medal recipient who has published over 50 novels. So it must be like Oats or something. Um, I'm going to say this must be Slow Eyed. And Lays and Ass. So yeah, Oats. Okay. Begins to annoy, wears on. Uh, let's just go back up to these here. 
reassurance to someone who's blundered. Hmm. Because it is hi fi. No. Sweet love. That really doesn't ring a bell. I need a something. Uh, everything is under control. Taking after would be a la. Tweet streams is feeds, perhaps. Contemptible sort. I kind of want this to be a jerk, but box seat occupant. Hmm. Interesting. Caspian C feeder is that arrow. Taunt mercilessly. Be like ride. Box seat occupant. Uh, sooner. Oh, sooner, like an Oklahoma sooner. So an Oki. That looks good. Box. Oh, so this is juror. Box seat occupant. Juror. Jerk. And this must be Eric Sati. All right. So long shadows are. Shadows are long, near dark, right? Which means this would be Eric Sati and Roger Maris is number nine. Vegetable with an ornamental peacock variety is kale, presumably. Use a tiller on is not, I'm still not sure about that. Light desserts are an example of flambe. Flambe, like you light it on fire. Uh, finish, oh, finish company is Nokia. Nokia, far from flowery. Maybe this is prose. Uh, so everything is under control. Fear not, right? Flowery curse is what that is. Short and unflowery. Anita Baker must be, and aerate which would be reassurance from someone who's blundered. No harm done. So, all right. So definitely for a Monday New Yorker, that was a little bit easier than I, I was expecting. I'd say this is a little bit more on par with the typical Wednesday submissions, but a really nice puzzle, 16 minutes and 32 seconds. Um, there's all kinds of interesting fill. I mean, there's um, a bunch of stuff here that, that you don't see often and some great names. Interesting that Eric Satie and Arthur Ashe both appear as full full names, first and last. Um, we see both of those pretty frequently, but not um, but typically just their last names. And uh, so it's cool to see to see the full name. Um, they deserve to have their full names spoken. And uh, some some other pretty interesting stuff overall, like a pretty a pretty flowy grid other than the fact that I struggled so much over in the West initially. Um, and there are some, there's some pretty tough fill over here, like Eric Sadie, Eric, an odd spelling of Eric, no less, um, on top of Radioland, on top of Kleenexes. I could see that being pretty difficult. The other, uh, the stack up in the, in the Northeast, I, I thought was a little bit easier with superhero art dealer and inaudible, um, but definitely some challenges and, um, uh, nice puzzle. Thanks, Patrick Barry. Appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys for joining me for this live solve of the New Yorker puzzle. And um, hope to see you again next time. Thanks.